Hello, this video explains the pipeline as code feature in CA Continuous Delivery Director. CA Continuous Delivery Director makes it easy to move from continuous integration to continuous delivery by managing and orchestrating the end-to-end -end pipeline. Using the UI, it's easy to design your deployment pipeline and to add the tools that your team uses to commit, test, deploy, collaborate and measure. However, a key aspect of an automated pipeline is its ability to be reused and become a best practice, making every release easier and minimizing the introduction of errors. You also want version control and to share it with your colleagues to reduce redundant effort and to enforce compliance. In addition, developers can readily see how to extend their application code base to include the continuous delivery pipeline. How can you do this? with Pipeline as code. CA Continuous Delivery Director lets you import and export deployment pipelines represented in JSON format. If you know how to code in JSON, it's easy to create and edit your own pipelines. Here's how it works. To export a release, go to the Releases page and select a release. Click the Export icon. In File Explorer, Save the selected release to a target repository. Note that the release is saved as a JSON format file. To import a release, go to the Releases page and click the Import icon. In File Explorer, select the required JSON format file that represents the release you want to import and click OK. The selected release now appears in the Releases page, ready for use. Let's look at some key pipeline as code concepts. JSON files represent pipelines and contain fully qualified names or FQNs that specify the object, function or variable to which a call refers. Here you can see some examples of objects. This JSON code represents a phase and its associated metadata such as name, environment and approval gate. And this JSON code represents a task and its associated metadata such as plugin, endpoint and input parameters. When you create and edit JSON files that represent pipelines, you can use special tokens as placeholders for values in FQNs, descriptions and versions. Note that the tokens must start and end with a percent sign. Here you see two examples of special tokens used in a JSON file. Note the name, value pairs, typical of JSON format, such as kind equals phase. One of the outstanding benefits of Pipeline as code is the ability to make holistic changes easily. For example, I can change a phase name using a JSON editor. After making my change, I can simply re-import the release, saving myself a lot of manual configuration in the UI. You can use the JSON to create a release or to add release content to an existing release, such as a new task or a token. In this example, I use a REST API to add a task. I've copied over the JSON snippet for a task and tweaked the code so that I can add a new task. Let's try it out. And here we see the newly added task at the bottom of the acceptance phase. As your code libraries become bigger and bigger, Pipeliner's code allows multiple colleagues to manage the pipeline safely. Pipeline as code helps drive consistency and scalability. Pipeline as code lets you release on demand whenever you want. Thanks for watching. For more information about Pipeline as code and other topics, see the CA Continuous Delivery Director documentation at docops.ca.com/cdd.